Hello and good morning and welcome to you on this Wednesday of Holy Week, uh, also traditionally known as Spy Wednesday. You probably know why it's called Spy Wednesday, um, but if you don't, then it's well worth researching that, maybe Googling it and finding out a little bit about the background about Spy Wednesday. Um, just before we begin our morning prayer, I just wanted to mention again that we are in St. Cuthbert Main Chapel, part of our church. The Blessed Sacrament is in the main body of the church. Um, and we do, of course, have our statue to St. Cuthbert Main. The, re the relic is also here of his skull uh, this morning on the altar. But we have a statue to St. Cuthbert Main. Uh, we've got a great devotion to in this parish. It's our patron, Saint and Martyr, the local saint. Um, but also, you'll notice another statue up here. Our, our parishioners will be well aware of this. But we have a devotion to Saint Stephen as well. And this is Saint Stephen. So, why have a devotion to Saint Stephen here in the church? Well, for one thing, Saint Stephen is very significant in this part of the town. This area of Launceston is called Saint Stephen's. The hill on which this church is situated is called St. Stephen's Hill. The church and the school up the road are both named after St. Stephen. And interestingly enough, the word Launceston, or as we say in these parts, Lanson, the name of the town itself, comes from two words, Lan Stefan, Lans Stefan, the land of St. Stephen. So you can see that the whole area, our faith and culture in this place, is infused with um, the devotion to St. Stephen. So what have these two great saints and martyrs got in common? Cuthbert Main and St. Stephen. Well, two things is that they are both saints and they are both martyrs. St. Stephen was the first Christian martyr, the proto-martyr, and St. Cuthbert Main was the first seminary priest martyr in the Reformation. But something very significant that they also both had in common was the words in which they died, their last words, if you like. For St. Stephen, it was, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And for Cuthbert Main, it was in Latin, in manus tuas domine into your hands, O Lord. And he couldn't quite get the rest out before he died there in Launceston Square, where he was executed. You know, but the whole phrase is, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. So those final words of both of them evoke the final words of Jesus on the cross, which we think about particularly in Holy Week, particularly on Good Friday. Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. It is a prayer for a Christian to pray when approaching death, of course. Into your hands, Father, I commend my spirit. But it is also a prayer that we can pray every day of our lives, because those words are so succinct and so expressive. They're words of intimacy. They are words of trust and words of surrender. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Thank you. So let us pray our morning prayer, a slightly shortened version of our normal morning prayer. <clears throat> o God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sin. From earth born passion set me free, and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppress. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord 
Lord Jesus, think on me. Amid the battle strife, in all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray through darkness and perplexity. Point thou the heavenly way. Lord Jesus, think on me when flows the tempest high. When on the frosty enemy, O Saviour, be thou nigh. Lord Jesus, think on me, that when the flood is past, I may the eternal brightness see, and share thy joy at last. My goodness, these the words of these hymns and psalms take on special meaning at this time of pandemic. <coughs> the antiphon. Your ways, O God, are holy. What great, what God is great as our God. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord with outstretched arms. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago, and remembered the years that are long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered, and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favour no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy, or in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High is changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works, and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy, what God is great as our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voices. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord with outstretched arms. <clears throat> the reading comes from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord God comes to my help, so that I am untouched by the insults. So too I set my face like a flint. I know I shall not be shamed. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. Let us play, pray earnestly to Christ our Saviour, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. The response is, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to endure the Passion and enter into glory. 
lead your church into the paschal feast of eternal life. Lord, have mercy on us. Your heart was pierced with a lance. Heal the wounds of our human weakness. Lord, have mercy on us. You made your cross the tree of life. Share your victory with all the baptised. Lord, have mercy on us. You gave salvation to the repentant thief. Pardon all our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. And in a moment of silence, we place before the Lord anyone who special, especially needs our prayers and those who have asked us to pray for them. And we sum up all our prayers and petitions as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now again, uh, pray the prayer, the extra general intercession for us to pray on Good Friday in this time of pandemic. So let us pray for all those who suffer the consequences of the pandemic that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all victims who have died. Almighty ever-living God, only support of our human weakness, look with compassion upon the sorrowful condition of your children who suffer because of this pandemic. Relieve the pain of the sick, give strength to those who care for them, Welcome into your peace those who have died, and throughout this time of tribulation, grant that we may all find comfort in your merciful love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By your will, Lord God, your Son underwent the agony of the cross to break the power of Satan over man. Give your people grace to rise again with Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. I'll be going on to celebrate Mass now, in which you're all very much in my prayers. We pray now for the Lord's blessing upon us and upon all those who are dear to us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.